companies are also doing some things about it. So I think the response to inflation is we've gone through inflation before, but those early years of inflation. You're talking about the excess, 70s? Yes. Okay. Correct. So I, I don't want to talk about when, uh, huh? then you can date <laughs> our ages. But you know, if you look at those times, it was a very different world. Yeah. So we have lived with the inflation then, but we had excess capacity. So that's the supply yeah. side. And therefore we could actually still surmount because we could have lower wages, you know, when inflation is too high, then you get recession and then wages come down. Today's world has very different generations of workers. So we have to also think about how to collaborate. And I think many companies are thinking out of the boxes these days. So you could have actually tech talent hubs outside of Singapore. Even when we talk about training and upgrading, I mean, bottom line is about productivity. Correct. Ensuring that, uh, you know, Every worker maximizes his or her yes. full potential right. and uh, leveraging on technology, uh, automation, mechanization, and now artificial intelligence and the internet of things. Yeah. So I think very, Scary very important stuff. to yes. leverage on the whole ecosystem to maximize our productivity so that uh, from a, a trade unionist perspective, uh, we don't just have good jobs, we have good paying jobs uh, to cope with uh, rising uh, cost of living and inflation at the same time. Because we have an aging society, that means in terms of the income tax revenue, uh, perhaps also corporate tax uh, revenue as well may be affected. Uh, but at the same time, expenditure would have to go up, you know, especially for the for to cater to the aging population. Right. So very difficult choices. Uh, over the uh, course of the next uh, two years, also I am a bit more po uh, optimistic on that. Mm. As long as we don't get into any kind of uh, crises or any sort of that thing, assuming that things go normally, yeah. I think our revenue should be able to come in to, to ensure to have a balanced uh, budget uh, over the course of the five years. One of the areas where I thought we could have, uh, or the budget could have dealt with more is uh, in the area of sustainability. Mm. I think this is an area where uh, hopefully it will be addressed uh, in the near future where this is you know, a point in time where uh, Singapore could take leadership uh, whether it is uh, green financing, whether it is uh, doing more for in terms of the built industry uh, more initiatives being rolled out in that area so uh, that's you know, really my wish list for perhaps next year and going forward. Mm -hmm.